Hi there, this is Chris of Moto Legends, the chap in the cap, here today to talk to you about a pair of chinos from Swiss company Roker. Now, Roker's a remarkable company. It was set up about 10 years ago by two very cool young guys, Michael and Kai, who left their jobs to create the kind of jeans that they wanted to ride in. They'd always been pals, they'd always ridden together, but they could never find the kind of jeans that they really felt reflected their personal style. So they set out to create the world's best jeans, and they've kind of got there. Their Roka Rokatech jeans and their Revolution jeans are both the stuff of legend. Their Rokateks have a slide time of 6.3 seconds. They're single layer. You can wear them all day. They flow the air like no other jean on the market. They're fantastic. Their Revolution jeans, again, single layer, but with a laminated waterproof membrane, they will withstand the rain for four, five, six hours. It's the only truly waterproof jean on the market. But today we're gonna to talk about their Chino, which in its own right is just as amazing. Let's go over and take a look. So these are Roka's Chinos, and as you can see, they come in two colorways. There's a black and there's a khaki. The material looks like a standard cotton twill. It's not actually a cotton twill. I'll come on and talk about that later. In terms of styling, you've got a button back pocket, two slash pockets, a change pocket, a zip fly and not a button fly. It's a very smart pant. Based here in Guildford, we have a lot of customers who ride into the city every day. During the week, Monday to Thursday, they have to change into their suit when they get into the office. But on Fridays, they're often allowed what's called Dress Down Friday. This is the kind of pant that they will often wear. It's smart enough to wear all day. Um, no one's going to ever tell that it's a motorcycle trouser. In terms of the fabric itself, it's called Dynatech, and it's made for Roka by Schurler Industries. Rather like their armolith material that they use in the Rokatex, it's amazingly abrasion resistant. The Rokatex have a slide time of 6.3 seconds. These have a slide time of 6.13 seconds. So again, 50% stronger than leather. So this is a, a pant that looks like a regular ca casual pant, but on the bike, you've got leather plus levels of abrasion resistance. They have another little trick up their sleeves that you don't, I should say not up their sleeves, but really up their legs. Um, that you don't get on Rokatex, and that is that there's a degree of waterproofing with these trousers. Now that's not the durable water repellent that you tend to get on many motorcycle garments. A durable water repellent is really a spray that goes on top. Once you've worn them a while, once you've got them wet a few times, that wears off, you need to reproof them. These pants have a water repellency has been impregnated into the fabric when it is first created, when they're spin when they're spinning the fabric. So these trousers are pretty amazing in terms of their water resistance. I'm not gonna call them waterproof. They do not have a waterproof membrane, so they are not properly waterproof, but they are more water resistant than one has a right to expect in a pant that does not have a membrane. We say that it's a get you home at waterproofing, half an hour to an hour. We have customers who tell us they're better than that. And some of our customers consider these to be waterproof trousers. So I don't want to overclaim, but I think you just have to see it as a benefit with these pants. If you do end up getting caught out in them in heavy rain, these will look after you better than any other chino pant on the market. Um, in terms of armor, they come with a D3O armor in the knees and the hips, I say they come with, they don't come as standard, that's an extra on top of the jeans. Under the new C rules, that's not allowed, but these are old stock jeans, so they do come, or they do not come with armour at present. That may change in the coming year when new batches arrive with armour. At present, these trousers are priced at 300, so armour would be about another 40 pounds on top of that, 40 to 50 pounds on top. In the new year, I suspect, the new year, by the new year, I mean 2020. I think in the new year, the price may well go up to 350 pounds and armor will be included. Um, so as I say, knees and hips. Now, we love these pants. They're fantastic. They're really smart. They're tough. Wear them all day, waterproof. They seem to have everything. The one weakness, and I'm gonna show you in detail like what I mean, the one weakness is the armor. Roker is a fantastic company. No one does the combination of style and functionality better than Roka. But at times in the detail when it comes to motorcycling finesse, the things that really work on the bike, they are sometimes found to be wanting. There is an issue with the armor on these jeans and so I'm gonna lay them on the table and I'm gonna just talk you through the issues because it can be solved. It's best if you come and see us because we know the fixes, but if you were to order these mail order, you just need to know that there are some 
obstacles that you may need to overcome. So let's have a look at these jeans in a little bit more detail. So here I've got a couple of pairs of Broca's chinos. I've turned them inside out, obviously. Now, I've told you that they are single layer jeans or single layer chinos, obviously, in this case, and they are single layer. This lining is nothing but a lining. It doesn't add to the protection. It's unlike the Kevlar or Aramid lining you get in some pants. This is purely for comfort. What it means is that if it's really hot, it just helps the out of fabric rub against your skin. So it's still single layer, but you do get a mesh lining just to allow air to flow. There are two different styles on the market, two different styles of armor pocket. Neither of them are perfect. Both are compromised in some degree. I'm gonna go through each and talk to you about how to overcome the issues, how to make the armor work. So first one I'm gonna do is these. Now, we do love the guys at Roka, super cool, great designs, fantastic product, and really protective. But things like this just show that the attention to detail is not quite at the level it needs to be. This armor pocket, you go up the leg and there's a zip here that you're meant to put the armor into to get it into position. The problem is that once you do, it's almost impossible to move. This stuff here, this white stuff, I don't know what it is. It's not Velcro per se, but it's stickier than something that's incredibly sticky. To move the armor, it's almost impossible once it's in, in place. So to try to move it about and get it in the right, right position is a massive pain. And we have spent hours in the shop with customers trying to get that armor in exactly the right position. So we have a fix. We take a scalpel to this bottom edge and we open the pocket up along there. Just a very neat line. It doesn't compromise the safety or the functionality of the product in, in any way, but we create an open edge here. This way, we can move the armor, place it there. If it needs to go lower, more to the inside, more to the outside, there's easy access. We just pull it up, move it out, move it down, and so on. When you do this, this pocket becomes actually a fantastic device because this Velcro goes all the way across the leg, so you can move it up, you can move it down. You've got about three to four inches of movement up and down. You've got about three inches either way as well. It's a fantastic armor pocket, but if you've got a pair of these, many people give up using the armor because this side end entry pocket is just impossible to use. So a quick tip, an easy tip, just un undo the bottoms. So if you've got a pair of chinos or end up with a pair of chinos in this style, then that's the way to make sure that the armor fits. I'm now gonna show you the other style of chino. This has a traditional sleeve up here. It's a bit like the Rokotech jeans um, and the Revolutions. You fold the armor up and you put it into a pocket here. There's Velcro on the inside, a traditional strip of Velcro, and you put it in place. It kind of works. There can be an issue. We don't think they've run enough Velcro. I can't understand why motorcycle trouser manufacturers do this. They put a gap of Velcro here, a gap of Velcro here. You often need the center bit. Uh, they don't give you enough Velcro. They're saving two cents and surely for, a, for that kind of money, it's just worth putting a, a longer length on. And often we have to, because we find that sometimes this armor doesn't go anywhere near low enough. We have to take the trousers, take them to our repairer and add some Velcro here. So the Velcro ends here, we add another bit. It just gives us another couple of inches of length on the end of the Velcro. So the pockets are fine, but we can find at times when people come to see us, we can't get the armor in the right place. I suppose what I would say is that it's one of the benefits of coming to see us here in Guildford because what we do, 
Whenever somebody buys a pair of motorcycle pants of any sort, we get them to sit on our bike. We make sure that the knee arm is in the right place, that the hips work, that the length of the trousers is, is correct. And we will always, at our cost, do whatever amendments we need to do to make the armor work. So in this case, if we, had, if we found that the armor was too high, we would measure that on the bike, work out that your armor needs to come down an inch or two inches, we then take that into our repairer, comes back a couple of days later in exactly the right position. So if you want to get Rogacinos absolutely spot on, then coming to see us in Guildford is the best option. Obviously, you can take a chance. A lot of people buy these mail order, and I would say 80% of people find that they work perfectly fine. Although what I have found is that many people, when they get the trousers home, they don't really know quite where the armor should be, and they come into the shop later, they show us, their jeans, it's in completely the wrong place. So if you do want to get it bang on, if you want to get it right, come and see us in Guildford. We're not that far from uh, London. We'll pick you up from the railway station. It's easy to do, it's easy to do it. Okay, so that was Rokas Chinos, flawed in some minor respects, but nonetheless a fantastic pant. They are super abrasion resistant, smart beyond belief. You even get a degree of waterproofing. If you'd like to know more about the trousers, then visit the website www.motolegends.com. If you would like to receive in future email bulletins about products as they come into the building, whenever something comes in, either that day or later in the week, we'll send out a bulletin telling everyone that it's arrived. You can sign up to our newsletters, our bulletins, by going to the website again. At the top of the website, there's a little button that says newsletter sign up. It takes two seconds. You will then in future receive our bulletins. If you would prefer to get your information like this video graphically, then we would be simply delighted if you wanted to sign up to our email, um, to our, our videos on the subscribe button below. If having watched this video, you really cannot live for another day without buying a pair of these pants, then if you go to the button top right, that will take you directly to the product page. Again, you can read about the genos there, but you can also buy them um, on that page. Lastly, I could make a case for coming to see us here if you want to get these chinos absolutely right. There are lots of sizes. There are an enormous number of SKUs. So they go from 26 inch waist in inches up to 32 and then from then on in two inches all the way up to a 40 inch waist. You've got a 32 inch leg, you've got a 34 inch leg, you've got a 36 inch leg and then obviously you've got them in two colors. Nobody in the country, in fact, nobody in the world carries as much stock of Roker trousers as we do. So you stand a better chance of getting the size correct for you here than you will almost anywhere else you visit. But there's another issue. That is that on a pant like this, it's not an inexpensive pant, you do want to get it right. What we do when you come and see us, we get you to sit on the bike, we put the armor in place, we make sure that it's right. If it's not right, we'll make the alterations. But what we have found is that getting the armor right is a matter normally of having the leg length right. So if you order a standard 34 inch leg because you're a 34 inch um, in a pair of Levi's, you may well find that the armor will be too high. So if you really want to get these chinos bang on, come and see us, we'll get the armor right, we'll do the alterations if necessary, we'll shorten the trousers if necessary, and we'll do all of that at our cost. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this video. That was the Roca Chinos. This has been Chris at Moto Legends. We hope to talk again soon.